Brothers and sisters, when we speak about loving the beloved, we need to understand that the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the way for this ummah to gain victory and triumph over its enemies. It's the only way, its way that is wrapped by dignity, wrapped by mercy and love. When people don't transgress, we don't put explosives in the streets to kill innocent people. But when an army invades an Islamic country, we go back to the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and take an example from it. This is why, dear brothers and sisters, we need to follow the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in every level. And let me end up after this probably long for you talk, saying that we need to go home now, tonight. And I believe the best wish I have, and I hope that every one of you has, is to see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in your dreams. To have a dream of him. Have you ever thought of it? Even his vision brings salvation. He says, مَنْ رَآنِي فِي الْمَنَامِ فَسَيَرَانِي فِي الْيَقَضَةِ مَنْ رَآنِي فِي الْمَنَامِ فَقَدْ رَآنِي حَقَّةِ It's a mutawatir hadith. It's a piece of statement narrated by many of his companions. Anyone who sees me in his dream will see me in reality, will meet me while awake, will see me on the day of judgment. Seeing Rasulullah in your dreams brings salvation to you on the day of judgment. Dreams are caused by one of three reasons. Either because of preoccupation of the mind, or because of the Satan, or because of an angel of dreams, which brings you the best dreams, glad tidings. If you're preoccupied by something, you're going to dream of it. So let's make your preoccupation the Prophet ﷺ, his life and his character. Or else, engage in loving him in your heart, so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings you the glad tidings of seeing him. Two things. Shaitan doesn't take his image. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَا يَتَمَثَّلُ بِهِ He says. Shaitan doesn't take the form, doesn't take on the form of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Because there's no way otherwise you would know that this is the messenger of Allah or not. So the shaitan doesn't take on his form at all. When you see him in your dream, then you're given the glad tidings of salvation on the day of judgment. But in order to see him in our dreams, we need to be attached to him. Do you yearn to visit him? Do you miss him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam as much as you miss your parents if they passed away or your children if they're traveling? Do we miss him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? This personal level of relationship with him is very important, brothers and sisters. It doesn't develop, it doesn't come from a vacuum. It develops from a systematic work. Visiting the masjid, praying in the masjid, applying the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, reading about him. And I believe through this attachment to him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, you can change your life. Not only your lifestyle, you're going to change your life, you're going to look a different person in terms of knowledge, even with the light appearing on your face. Wallahi, see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in your dream and wake up that morning and look in the mirror and look at your face. And you will see a reflection of the prophetic light on your face just the morning, the same morning you've seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in your dream. This is the impact of Rasulullah in our lives. Brothers and sisters, thanks for coming and thanks for listening and thanks for your patience. I hope that we go home, inshallah, and we start some serious work to support Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in public and to embrace his character and his traits and to yearn for him, to love him, so that we can inshallah improve our relationship with him as a result of this conversation. And I thank you all for coming and thank the organizers, especially the brothers here and the, in the Imperial College and all of those people who helped bringing me here. May Allah reward you all and hope to meet you again, inshallah, on another occasion. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.